Good morning, internet world. Now, in today's video, I'll be sharing with you a whole host of gadgets and technology in the run-up to Christmas, so that you get a good flavour of what's coming to the studio, and I'll also be sharing with you what I get up to throughout the day. Now, the start of today has been extremely busy for me already. I've had about four or five parcels to pack to be returned to various companies. Also, about 40 or 50 emails to go through, and it's only 8.30 a.m. But anyway, enough of my workload, for want of a better term. Let's show you what technology came into the studio this week. First up, we got these really nice earphones from Metse, and they come in this nice carry pouch. Extra silicon ear tips inside here as well. And these are the earphones themselves. They look really very, very nice. White cabling, silver. We've also got some wood on the sort of uh, base of the earphones as well. We've got a slightly angled three and a half millimeter connector. Also, I'll just show you around here, a built-in microphone. So you can use these for making and taking calls. And the actual headphones themselves are really nicely constructed. Very, very good quality. Metal on the back, metal around here, and then also a nice sort of wooden bit in the middle. They are very, very sensitive. 17 hertz to 25 kilohertz frequency response and eight millimeter drivers inside each of the ear tips. Super comfortable to wear. And the actual audio reproduction on these have surprised me. Very, very nice detail to vocals. A little bit lacking in the bass, but the higher frequencies more than acceptable. Well worth checking out. Now I'm also testing out another case today for the Galaxy Note 4. A big, big thank you must go out to Mobile Phones Direct for sending me out the Galaxy Note 4. There's a link to them in the video description. And this particular case is the Spigen Capsule. And this was sent out to me by Mobile Fun. Uh, Mobile Fun are great for cases and accessories. So please do check out a link in the video description to their website as well. As I say, this is the capsule case. If I just turn it round, you'll see it's a very, very nice case. We've got cutouts for the uh, USB or micro USB charger there, the S Pen, also a cutout for the speaker on the back, cutout for that heart rate sensor flash and the camera up the top there, cutouts for the IR Blaster little top microphone and also the 3.5mm audio jack. Now the power button is actually squared off, so it's sort of like a, not a raised edge power button, but just integrated into the case. And they've done the same with the volume up and down, and they work really nicely. Perfectly placed, no extra effort required at all to operate these buttons. It's a very, very nice case. This is the Spigen capsule case for the Galaxy Note 4. And now we're going to look at a speaker. This is the Boom Bar 2 wireless speaker. And this is from a company called Kitsound. And Kitsound makes some fantastic products. And the reason I like Kitsound products is because they are very, very reasonably priced. Now this one's got a nice angular design to it. I do like the design on this one. It's got some weight to it as well. If I just show you around the side of the speaker, this is where all the controls are on this panel here. And we have got controls for volume up and down. We've also got a pairing button because this, this is a Bluetooth speaker. On off button or on off switch I should say. A microphone as well. Auxiliary input and also a micro USB for charging the internal battery. Now a lot of these products now, a lot of these speakers and sound bars are having microphones built in. And I really do like that because it means that you can use these for making and taking calls. And the call quality, absolutely fine on this. Now, the built-in battery offers up, up to 10 hours of playtime on this particular product, and it's got a really good 10-watt output. Very, very convincing sound stage produced by this, and it easily fills a whole room, medium to large size room, with very, very good audio. Nice tonal quality to this, nice amount of lower frequencies, uncoloured vocals on this one. The only reason I would sort of doubt it occasionally is it does fall over. It comes a little bit muddled when you get very intricate tracks. Apart from that, it gives a very convincing performance. This is the Kit Sound Boom Bar 2. Now this is a very cool product. This is a Bluetooth remote control. So if you're into your selfies, this is definitely worth considering. This is the Qdos QPIC 
green selfie shooter and it's a very very tiny little product comes with a little uh, sort of hole there where you can attach the included strap and also a little carry case as well how cool is that and this is such a simple little product it runs off of a little cell battery inside like a watch battery and you connect it via bluetooth to your smartphone and then you can position your smartphone on a selfie stick or on a little tripod get into the shot with all of your friends push the button on the top and it takes the photo. Very, very simple, but very useful indeed. And now we've got another product here. Now, this doesn't flash in real life. It's purely due to the refresh rate on my camera. It gives a very steady display on the front. This is the Elixir Cheetone Alarm Speaker. Now, I will leave a link to Accessory Labs in the video description so that you can check this out. It is a wooden finish and an alarm clock, a Bluetooth speaker. It's got two USB ports on the back for charging devices, and it's also a Qi wireless charger, very similar to the one I showed you in yesterday's video. If you place your smartphone that supports wireless charging to the Qi standard on top of here, it will charge it, so it's ready and waiting for you when you get up. Now, this has also got a built-in microphone, so you can use it to make and take calls. There's the button on the top here. We've also got volume up and down. We've also got a snooze button as well, and that dims the display. As you can see, the display gets dimmer and brighter. When the alarm goes off, you hit that snooze button to get the desired effect. And then on the sides, if I just show you around the side here, this is one of the speakers, and then round on this side, we've got another speaker. And let's turn it round, and we'll show you around the back as well. Look, this is round the back. So we've got the two USB outputs here for charging your devices. One amp output and a 2.1 amp. Auxiliary in, just down here. So if you don't want to connect via Bluetooth, you can connect via an auxiliary cable. Alarm settings, time settings, and it also, of course, does the temperature. You've got all the controls on the back for changing how things look on this front display. Very, very useful device. And the audio quality, not fantastic, but more than acceptable for an alarm clock. This is the Elixir Cheetone alarm speaker. And last, but not least, do you remember Batro Borg? I actually featured this on the channel, you can see it on your screen now, about a year ago, and myself and my son had amazing fun with the Batro Borg from last year. This is the brand new version, the Batro Borg Warrior comes with new Batro Borg robots that you can battle with here, all presented in this amazing presentation box. This is from Tomy, by the way. You can check out full details on batroborg.com. This is just great fun. I'm keeping this in the box until Christmas so I can play this with my son again. And basically, you get the two little warriors and control them via these wireless controls and you just battle until one of you wins. It is absolutely fantastic. I really love this. We had so much fun with Batro Borg last year and I just can't wait to get this out of Christmas and play this with my son again. I might even get some of the other family onto it as well. Really, really superb. And it just shows that I have not yet grown up. Look at this, age six plus. Well, I suppose I am age six plus. And yes, as always, I will leave links to all of those products in the video description. So another busy, busy day, but thoroughly enjoyable. You can probably hear a slight rasp in my voice. I've been doing a lot of talking again. I did a voiceover on a video, which will be on the channel in about two weeks time, something like that. Um, and I also just wanted to talk to you to close out the video today about Christmas again. And the reason this subject's come up again, I'm, I'm smiling because I had a, a really sort of light and jokey conversation with my daughter the other day. And I said to her, oh, we'll never be rolling in money because you always give us big Christmas lists. And it's sort of the thing that children seem to do every year is they write their letter to Santa or do a Christmas list. And I wanted to talk to you about it because I'm just keen to hear back from you as to whether your children do Christmas lists or whether you indeed do a Christmas list yourself and whether your parents or Santa actually receive the list and fulfill your wishes. You know, that's really what I'm trying to gauge and not for any preconceived sort of information. I'm not going to do anything with the information. I just find it interesting to see how different families spend their Christmas times. I personally don't particularly like Christmas lists or lists of any form really. If somebody's gonna purchase me a gift for my birthday or for Christmas, and I never expect anything, 
I prefer it just to be a surprise, you know, something that they've put, put the thought into rather than the recipient putting the thought into. Does that make sense? And I know it's different for children because they get excited and of course they write their letter to Santa. But there comes a stage in their lives where there must be a transition period and would they not prefer to receive a surprise or are they really concerned that they get something that they really want and what's the budget as well you know do you really go out of your way and work lots of overtime to give your children the christmas that they wish for you know i'm just interested so if you do want to share that information don't worry if you don't but if you do want to share it leave me a comment below and i'll be really interested to read through them and respond to as many as i can so i hope you've had a fantastic day I'm going to watch some television, including I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Yes, I do still watch that, and I thoroughly enjoy it, so don't judge me. I will see you all again in tomorrow's video.